Welcome back, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today bringing you guys a pretty depressing video. Honestly, I've been doing clan war raids for a long time now, and uh, besides my very first clan war raid ever, where I didn't bring any troops and only brought like three wall breakers and didn't realize it until I lost the raid. I think this might be the worst clan war raid I've ever done. And uh, let me just give you a little bit of background. We're in a war with this clan right here, and I wanted to three-star their lowest town all 10. So I decided I would switch up my strategy a little bit. I wanted to bring an ra extra rage spell just for a little bit of power, and you can see I'm using 21 wall breakers instead of another jump spell. And uh, one more thing, I did this raid at the airport after taking some pills that would help me relax on the airplane and hopefully be able to fall asleep. So... That's not a good combination. At an airport, in a rush, taking some sleeping pills, and trying to do a war raid where I'm doing a strategy that I've never used before, and um, I'm just going to walk you guys through what happened. So first of all, let's start with where I decide to attack. I see this base right here, and you guys have seen me in my two-week Titan series get really, really high percentage two stars. I've even three stars based like three-star bases like this with fully maxed out defenses, fully maxed out kings and queens or I guess king and queen, and uh, this guy is nowhere close to that. So I thought, you know, worst case two star, maybe I get lucky and get a three star. But first of all, look where I'm attacking from. I'm attacking from the side where there's a king on the left and a queen on the right, when I've never done that in the history of doing clan war raids, or raids against this base. I always attack from the queen side, just because it's a huge pain and it drags your AI out of the base. Anyways, let's just roll the tape and see what happens. So the wall breakers, honestly, you know what, not that bad. I broke open the first compartment, the second compartment right here should break open in a second. I'm gonna drop a golem, and then you have to realize that with this base, you have to break down these defenses so your golems just don't go crazy and go side to side with the base. But you know what? Apparently at the airport, that just doesn't matter. And, uh, you know, my king's just going to be dropped. My queen's going in. My wall breakers, wizards, who even knows what I'm throwing on the table. I haven't even dropped a rage spell yet, even though I brought three of them for some reason. And finally, my rage spell is going to go down. So by this time, my golems are going off to Narnia on the very top right and on the bottom left because I did no job whatsoever of funneling my troops. And I've dropped a single rage spell in which is doing, I guess, a decent job. But, all right, troops are sort of towards the center. King smacking the gold storage. Dragon's doing work on him. Poison spell isn't doing that much. And then my king, of course, is going to go ahead and run and slap this king over here because I attack from, like, the worst possible side that you could attack from. So from a base that I thought I was going to throw... And then what was this Inferno Tower? Like, what am I doing freezing this Inferno Tower? I, This raid... All right, just keep rolling the raid. Look at this rage spell. This rage spell is next to nothing. It doesn't hit the queen. It hits my king's, like, right leg. I, at this point, I was just... And I was right next to a Supercell employee. She's watching me do this. She's like, are you an idiot? Like, have you, are you paying someone to play your account? So I have my queen... My queen's been standing here, and this extra rage spell that I brought, like, 200 wall breakers to use, I haven't even dropped it yet. She's just sitting here doing nothing, and it just made no sense what... So, finally, I dropped this rage spell, and thank God that this guy doesn't have the craziest base, or that his Inferno Tower is slightly out of range, and that this Tesla is slightly out of range, and my queen gets his Town Hall with, like, half a hit point on my queen left, so... Golems are going to run around. I have a wall breaker. I have a jump spell. You know what? For the sake of it, I just like really didn't care about what I was doing anymore. You're going to see a jump spell plop down right in the center of this base. And uh, this probably wraps up the worst clan war raid I've done in my entire life. Like I thought I was going to three star this base. That's why I attacked it. That's why I tried to change up my strategy. But literally, I don't remember a raid that's gone this wrong. Besides giant bombs blowing up all my witches, besides stupid stuff like that, this one star was the most one pathetic one star I've ever had in my entire life. So, you know, I show you guys a lot of good raids, a lot of times where I funnel the troops and when I use rage spells correctly, where I attack the right side of the base. But this raid honestly could have been done by someone who had never played Clash of Clans before. So really, really bad stuff. I guess you have to learn from your mistakes. Don't raid at an airport after taking pills that you can sleep on a plane with. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say about this video. Bye.